The Northeast Corridor is the busiest rail line in North America, and up here in Massachusetts is no exception. Today we'll be getting trackside on the Amtrak shoreline. First up we see the backbone of the Northeast Corridor, an Amtrak Northeast Regional train running from Washington DC to Boston. Like any other Northeast Regional, this train is being powered by a Siemens City Sprinter locomotive, but what's out of the norm is the second one trailing behind it. Double headers on Northeast Regional trains aren't terribly rare, but they're still pretty cool to see, especially when you consider that this train has as much as 17,000 horsepower at its disposal thanks to the electric locomotive's unique ability to temporarily overload traction motors when accelerating. Following not long behind this double-headed Northeast Regional is the real reason why I'm sitting here at Canton Junction on this rainy summer afternoon. The future of Amtrak. This is the Acela 2, otherwise known as the Avelia Liberty, shipping up to Boston for a few days of testing. Unfortunately, a handful of unforeseen issues have caused these trains to be delayed more than three years, and at this point they're planned to enter revenue service in 2024. Hopefully, when they do finally enter service though, since Amtrak has had so much time to work out all their issues, they'll be the most reliable trains on the fleet. A month later, I'm back on the Northeast Corridor, this time at Reedville, once again for a Northeast Regional train. This time, it's 165 with ACS 64 number 642, the veteran sprinter leading. 642 is one of four locomotives across Amtrak's fleet, celebrating veterans and advertising Amtrak's career incentives for them. Next up is Northeast Regional number 179, this time with a different type of special locomotive. This is Amtrak 606, which at this time was wrapped in an ad for National Geographic's King Tut exhibit. In recent years, Amtrak has begun to wrap ACS 64s with advertisements ranging from attractions one can see along the train's route to video games in which the train is featured. Skip forward a few months and I'm back at Canton Junction, this time off the Northeast Corridor. Canton Junction gets its name from the junction here, where the Stoughton branch diverts from the corridor and heads through Canton Center to Stoughton, Mass. On this Sunday afternoon, the MBTA ran a work train to bring ties and rails to a crossing in Stoughton. More on that in a minute. After we saw the work train at the junction, we intercepted it at Central Street in Stoughton where it would drop off its materials. Over the next few weeks, maintenance of way crews would work to replace rails on this crossing, in addition to laying new ties. Up front on this train is an F40PH-3C, which was temporarily removed from passenger service to pull today's work extra. Definitely cool to see a passenger locomotive pulling freight cars. Behind four flat cars is recently rebuilt GP40MC number 1125. 
At one point, this locomotive also pulled passenger trains in Massachusetts, but it's since been rebuilt and painted blue, now operating almost exclusively on work trains. After unloading its rails in Stoughton, the extra turns back to Boston, this time with 1125 leading. Although it was originally built in the early 1970s, this locomotive has gotten a new lease on life with fresh electronics, an overhauled prime mover, and most noticeably here, LED lights. Definitely interesting to see on such a classic engine. <laughs> 